good, y'all. Um, I am starting a music video project for my homie Ace Haven today. Uh, we gonna separate this up into a couple days. I'm not sure if we'll do the entire BTS before the music video comes out. We'll decide all of that later. But right now, what I wanna do is I wanna explain the lighting setup that I have going on right now in my garage for this green screen setup that we're gonna be doing. All right, so this is the entire scene. It's not too much going on. I just wanna kinda explain the lights and the light placement and why the lights are where they are. Um, so for starters, uh, this is gonna be our key light. We're using the Aperture 300X with uh, the light dome. It's not the mini, it's the smaller, cheaper version. I don't know, I'll link it down in the description. I forgot the name of it. But we got this on uh, the Junior Boom arm. Talk about the Junior Boom arm all the time. I love this thing. This is great for booming things up above. And this is gonna be the key light for the scene. Ace is not here yet, but once we get him here, we'll see everything that's happening in the scene, obviously. But this is just gonna be an overhead light and set up for this green screen and um, take out to the actual green screen. Just a paper backdrop, green, really doesn't matter what you use. You can use cloth, you can use the little floppies that come out like the, the reflectors and all of that. But I'm using a paper backdrop. And to light this, we're using the Neon Light Pabo tubes. These are the 30Cs. We just got these gaff tape to some stands and we're blasting this light straight at the background. Whenever you're doing green screen, you want it to be lit well and you want it to be evenly lit. That way when you do your keying and post, it'll be easy to do. So that's a simple lighting setup. We're gonna go through a couple of different performances and uh, we'll see what we get. So we set up for this next scene in this video. Uh, this is a very simple scene. We basically are just using the Aperture 300X with the Aperture Spotlight mount. And we're doing some cool shapes on this face. We're gonna run through a couple different performances. Also do some B-roll. And then in post for the actual video, we'll do some keyframe animations for these shots. Day two of this A1 Haven uh, 22 Miss Calls uh, music video. We filming back at the crib, back in the garage. I just kind of want to break down to y'all what we doing so y'all can kind of get a gist of what's happening. If y'all want to replicate, do something like this, do that. Just don't steal it all the way. Make it better. <laughs> all right, so uh, we got a bunch of mug shots. So basically what we doing right now is we trying to set up an interrogation scene. Um, I got a bunch of mug shots. I blurred them out, pixeled them out just so you know, I can't see who the hell the people are actually in the mug shots. And we gonna set up the scene right here. Got Ace right there, Tino putting up the mug shots. And uh, we basically just gonna tape these all over the wall, creating a cool little set with these. We're gonna do some cool lighting. Really I, yeah, I think we should get them closer. I think we should pack that joint. Yeah, yeah, like touching. Touching? Yeah, like touching. So we gonna set up these um, mug shots and then we got some other props we're gonna put on the table. Um, but. Check back in with y'all when we do the lighting so y'all can see the breakdown on that. So we finally got the scene set up with the interrogation mug shots on the wall as you can see I went through printed these out I did a little bit of pixelation on these people so you couldn't tell who they were just to keep them you know uh, anonymous but you can kind of still see them far away I'm gonna do a little bit more of this blur and post but just to go over the lighting real quick we using the Pavo tubes the nail light tubes on all the light here we just got one boomed up right above them with the egg crate grid on it just to keep that light directly on him and not spill into the background and then in the background we got a Pavo tube uh, mounted to the garage um, 
little bar or whatever. And we just gap taped it up there. So super simple lighting setup, not over the top. Just got the background blue. This one, 5600 Kelvin. And we're gonna rock through these. We're gonna use the C70 as we've been through the whole video. Probably film some 50 millimeter shots, maybe 100 millimeter. Yeah, another thing we did, we got a couple props right here on the table. We also got some fake handcuffs for him just to really sell this interrogation scene. We got a mug, a little bit of steam coming out of it. I don't know why, after somebody catch a body, they want a cup of coffee, but you know, that's the first 48 way, so we had to replicate that. And then we gonna have a cigarette in there, kind of just uh, bringing up some smoke in the foreground. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it, but if not, we'll do that in post. And uh, if we do, you know the clip's coming from Storyblocks. Throughout this behind the scenes, I've been using this really cool film overlay to display my titles in a cool stylistic way. And I got these from Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an online platform with tons of high quality demand driven stock assets for your video needs. Whether you need high quality stock video clips, After Effects or app motion templates, or even animated motion background, Storyblocks has you covered. I really enjoy Storyblocks because with the unlimited plan, you can download and use as many of these assets as you like. So whenever I'm doing my green screen work, I can just go on here, find a high quality stock video clip, throw it straight into the background of my music video, and it just gives it a really cool look. And it's super easy to do. Down in the description is gonna be a link to take you over to Storyblocks. I highly recommend you guys check out the unlimited plan. It gives you unlimited access to all of these high quality stock assets to use however you like because they're royalty free. Capture right here are shots of Ace walking up onto a car, shooting into the car, and then reaching in and grabbing a bag. It's almost like a, a robbery scene. And uh, we're using a fake airsoft gun for this shot. It's clearly fake, it's orange tip. And when you're doing these sorts of shots, you want the gun to clearly be distinguishable that this is not a real gun. So in post, when we go through and do the VFX, we'll remove the orange tip from the gun. And then we'll also add muzzle flashes and recoil to make it look like he was actually shooting the gun. Uh, so that's the, just the scene. The equipment we're using, the Canon C70 with the Canon 50mm f1.2 L-series lens. And that's it. No additional light modifiers, just a really simple shot. And we shot the static as a lot of the other scenes in the music video as well. You'll see it. It's going to be a dope shot when you actually see the music video. Oven's on, that's why I'm steaming in here. This oven's on 400 degrees. Sometimes you gotta heat the crib, yo. Uh, sometimes you do, for sure. I haven't been there. 
I done been there. Sometimes you gotta heat the water too. I need that. That's the that's the angle right there. That's the angle. I don't know how that's how we're gonna achieve that. But actually, that ain't even a lot. It's, there you go. That's exactly what I need right there. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, what, I, what I might do for real too, I might change the color of this light to match this tungsten tone on the um on the light under the, the stove. Change the light outside. Yeah, change the cut the color tone of it. Let's see how high I can get the tripod, but I know that I ain't getting there. I don't know, I need that boost. I don't know how to get it. This is as tall as the tripod is. That's not that's not height. You could always collapse that joint and just hold it. Oh, you don't want you want a static shot. Yeah, I need a static shot. Right. Let's see. Let's see just how dangerous we can get real quick. You also gotta tilt the camera down too. Yeah, you know. That's, the, that, that's not even the shakiest part. It's good. Yo. It's good. <laughs> Yo, look. I need some help. What's good? Yeah, I would just lower the settings down. What do you think from his F15 right now? It's kind of jerky. Nah, I tried 10 first. You know what else I need? We need some, we need I need some haze um, in the can. No, 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 no. We need Pro Mist. Well, we do need haze in the can. That would add. But we got Pro Mist. I'm glad you just said that. Because I need to add that for the specific shot. Oh, do I only got a fourth? Oh, I do only got a fourth. Oh, v lock is not dead. No. F way. Is that the only V lock? We need that. I don't think it's it. dead. I think I maxed it on power. Oh. I gotta go back out there and reset this angle. Damn, so I got the 300D set up in the back of the house. I'm adjusting it with the aperture remote, but that joint just turned off. <laughs> so I'm thinking I just power cycled it too hard. Like sometimes if you power the lights too high on a V-Lock, I don't know what the hell happened. I'm, I am actually in a hood right now. <laughs> um, Sometimes if you power the light too high, when you run in a V-lock, it'll just turn off. So I'm hoping that's what happened and it didn't die. But it's been on a charger for days, so I don't think that's the case. I think I might have just powered it too hard because I, oh damn man, it turned back on. <laughs> Look, it just turned back on. That's so wild. Why the hell did that happen? That's weird, that's weird as hell. It was, it just turned off and then it just turned back on. So <laughs> that makes me think it just power cycled or something. I don't know what happened. About to find out right now though. <sighs> I had to run all the way. Yeah, see I got it on 100% right now. I gotta turn it down. That's what happened. This V-Lock is dying fast as hell though. So we're gonna have to run through these scenes quick. I'm gonna leave it right there at 90. But um, my uh, my light box on my, on my 300D said that we got 46 minutes left on that battery. So I'm gonna realistically give us like 30. Oh, the wrong damn place. <laughs> I'm gonna realistically give us 30. I don't think it'll last up for the whole 46. And just for the safety of my shots, because I don't have another V-Lock, I'm gonna just rate it for 30. If we get some extra, that's cool. That's incredible, but I need to get done what I need to get done with this light source in 30 minutes. So now it's crunch time. Let's get it. Is it better zoomed or not? All right, so you look. You look back, you can go back there and look. Yeah, I'll figure it out. All right, so, damn, I'm, am I, sh I look short as hell. Look, we got the Junior Boom on <laughs> and the C70 on here with a spigot um, and a, a, a grip a grip arm, a grip, a clamp. I don't know what the hell this is called. I'll leave everything down in the description we're talking about, but 
we got the junior boom and basically be trying to do like some flat lays. So we're gonna have Ace kind of doing like counting some money up, um, put his money back in rubber bands, him kind of like, you know, uh, rolling up to go smoke or whatever he's about to do. Um, but we basically just filming flat lays, detail flat lays of what's happening in this kitchen just to get those detail shots. Uh, other than what we just did, which was the static shot of him doing a bunch of things in the kitchen. We just want different angles and different coverage of what's happening, uh, but we want it from unique angles. So this right here is going to be a dope angle. It's kind of offset. It's going to be a little crooked. It's just a creative little touch to uh, flat lay. It's not perfect. I like it because it feels raw and it feels real. So we're going to have him come under this, you know, put his money back in rubber bands, and then we're going to have him do some other stuff around the kitchen. It's a wrap for day three. What were we on? Day four? Damn, it's day four? I don't know. One of these days. I think we did four. It's a wrap. We did four days. And that joint just died. Perfect, Perfect. timing, yo. The right. light just died. That's crazy. That's we, got, we got a wrap. It was meant to be. It's a wrap. That's gonna conclude the behind the scenes look at this A1 Haven 22 Miss Calls music video. Make sure to hit the actual music video up. Go check it out. Drop it a comment. Show us some love. Link for it is gonna be down in the description. Also, links down in the description for all of the equipment and gear that we use to create this music video. If you're interested in any of that, make sure to check that out. Make sure to show my people some love. My homie Tino who helped me create this music video. My homie A1 Haven with the actual music video. Go check it out, drop it a like. If you like this video, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you need any stock assets, make sure to check out Storyblocks. But with that being said, I'm out y'all, peace.